So, in the simplest way possible, can you explain to me what design research is? No. Well, why, why do you start with the complicated question? What is design research? What is design research about? That's not really a short question, is it? We invited you to present some of the results of a DFG Roundtable uh, event that we had uh, through the last two days. And the DFG Roundtable is an event where you can invite uh, international experts on a certain topic, so up to 30 people, to have an intense working session. So it's not a kind of uh, normal symposium with uh, upfront presentation, but it's more really sitting down together at one table and discussing hot topics. So we had this discussion on design research yesterday and today. DFG was interested or became interested in design research as an emerging field and we wrote an application for a symposium to approach this question together with international experts and, and experts from the German-speaking countries as well. Design research, to me, basically is uh, to reflect on design practice and, and develop design practice. Design research is part of design. Uh, it cannot be separated. I think in the past, design research has meant trying to understand more about design. And that's not particularly interesting. That's actually quite insular. Uh, and that's quite irrelevant. So I've always been interested in knowledge from everywhere else and how we access it, how we use it, how we repurpose it and how we translate it into something that's useful for not just design but for society and the world. I, I, I'm not very interested in designing as a professional activity. I think it's more interesting to think of it as a set of capabilities. Uh, human capabilities. What I'm particularly interested in is getting what designers know through their research out into other disciplines. I think it is very important that we as design researchers can really build a bridge between practice and theory and that research contributes to build the bridge. We basically discussed four major topics in four different sessions and the idea was to bring up the most controversial and most pressing issues. The relation of theory and practice in design research. Research and practice. Text and object. Text and um, object. Distinguishing features of design research. Distinctiveness of design research. What is the difference between design research and other kinds of research? Do we want to stay the undisciplined? The relationship between design and other disciplines. Bringing non-design to design. So why am I doing research? What is my motivation of research? What is my understanding of research? Does the goal of research always have to be clear communication or can it also be social intervention? Creating real social change. Make change. It's about change. It's about the future. So designers are always interested in taking what is now, finding what's wrong with it, making, creating solutions. And design research is about that too. There's a research process which of course starts somewhere very concrete and maybe ends somewhere very concrete and we try to map uh, what the distinct features of uh, text, in, uh, like academic writing is, and what the distinct features of maybe uh, objects are in this process. What kind of relationship is it between research and practice? Like, do we develop methodologies? Do we look at uh, design objects, at design processes? And then we try to, uh, to see what happens when we separate them. Like uh, here we only have the features of the text and here we only have the features of the object. And how do we communicate design research results? Is it in, in form of a, a, a product or is it more a text? Here's theory, here's practice. And we started with this that they are kind of sliding on different levels. And now we're trying to like be more specific about these interfaces now and then trying to figure out what we're actually talking about when we say distinctive and it should contribute to the field of design. It should contribute to being able to justify the results of designing 
uh, and to, to justify the processes to other design researchers, to other researchers from other fields. The question of dissemination of findings rather than the process of actually just doing the academic research. So the question of once the research is done, how does it actually have an impact on practitioners, on the academy, on society? Design and research are almost antithetical to each other. They're in perpetual tension. Up, saying, here are the researchers and there are designers. It may be that one can make creative tension, but I think they're in tension. The most difficult problem is to home in on what you have to do next. Um, what is the actual task? Not, not the broad task, but the particular task to move the project forward. Just instead of defining the nature of the discipline or the structure, mm -hmm. that we define certain kind of key prototypical examples on which people can orient themselves. Medical research delivers knowledge for the practice. Mm -hmm. And my question is, does this happen in design and with design research? Looking at those issues of how you translate knowledge between design and other disciplines, how you use design as a research method into problems that are framed by other disciplines, that's really important. Methods that you borrow from other disciplines can hold you back significantly. And that's the reason why I think in design research one has to have methods that don't do that. Good balance of structure and fixedness, so good ideas don't get away too fast, but also flexibility, so they can form and reshape and try around and then somehow like slowly develop. We draw on methods which we reframe, so we use observation, we use cultural probes, we use experimentation, but they, we have reframed these methods from other places. Well, but I think what we've ended up with is to say actually what's more important is at this point having a set of tools for doing good research um, and letting the ideology work out over time. The design research that I like is the design research that solves problems, that addresses critical issues. The design projects get more complex and they get larger. And the problems we're dealing with in the future will be so complex, like products. Yeah, no one, not a single person can make an iPhone and so on. You mentioned problem solving. I don't think design should solve problems. Oh, that's, it's one, one kind of design, but it's a boring kind of design. <laughs> namely, where the problem is defined and you mainly fit in something that solves the problem. No saving the world. No improving, <laughs> improving life's my job, not a design's job. I don't think design has much to do with problem solving, but like you, I think it's to do with possibility seeking. The clever thing about design is that you switch roles. You switch between being a drawer and being a viewer, and that's like switching persona. And eventually I become so good at this that I do both at once, or to all intents. I'm getting new theoretical ideas from the business of designing. For me, design research is research which is Maybe about changing the environment, but particularly research that you can do because you change the environment. Uh, this is almost unique because most researchers have to investigate the world as it is. I think one of the most interesting aspects of designing now is as it moves out into grasping human situations uh, as well as the material aspects of life uh, and so shaping these in how we shape these situations uh, that seems to be also the core of um, ethics and the core of the politics of design so in my view design research is also an ethical and a political activity right now we have the aspiration to influence yeah. So, uh, and, and the ways and means to, to get into the reach of other people, it's huge. So you, 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 you come in, you change something, and you see a new interesting question that you didn't recognize before. And then maybe other researchers with different kinds of approaches and different ways of looking at the world can take advantage of that new question.
10 years ago everybody was fighting about the right way to do re design research and today I see that um, people more and more tend to accept that there are different, different ways to do design research. We mainly agreed that there are these different models and um, maybe if there is an iteration loop we will very quickly have um, an agreement on the state of, of current design research. I think the round table was a massively valuable, innovative exercise in helping us to bring different currents of thought together, different traditions together. And it was nice because everybody's position was on the table somehow and then we tried to yeah, sort of negotiate. I find that we get a more substantial sense of the national differences and the benefits that come from understanding different contexts in which this is operating. So that the field itself can actually become much more robust in the way it speaks to other disciplines. Thank you.